Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting you uh, the newer flexible monopod mini selfie stick. So this uh, newer monopod or selfie stick is made of uh, rubber foam and aluminium and it's supposed to bend so you can uh, place your camera anywhere you want. Um, this is this should be very lightweight it's only 113 gram and in terms of uh, length uh, it should be 10.6 inches or 27 centimeters so it's not uh, very long and you know it should be uh, very great for travel because it's a very lightweight and small in size now this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest so you'll get only uh, you know what's real uh, there's no affiliated link or anything so you'll just get my uh, honest opinion on the item now some of the features are uh, that uh, you can bend it any place like bicycle, trees, tripod, or even hang onto the uh, on the rear view mirror. And you can use also as a selfie stick. And uh, durable and rigid, uh, flexible legs are made of thick uh, premium metal, uh, reinforced with coated rubber and compact foam. So it gives you a greater degree of flexibility. And then there's there should be quarter inch screw head which is compatible to uh, dsl dslr cameras or mirrorless cameras or any cameras with uh, a quarter inch input and then uh, you can use action cameras as well so i do have my uh, sony a5100 right here and i'll try to see if uh, you know it works with this uh, selfie stick or monopod and then uh, this is 10.6 inches uh, 27 centimeters and it should be very good for traveling so let's start with the unboxing and then you'll see we'll see how the product is so this is a very simple packaging and uh, nothing exceptional uh, it came just this way and i'll uh, take this out okay so we have uh, the box which is empty and i'll just set it aside here and this is a silica gel i'll put it in the box and this is our self stick let's take let's break the packaging or the wrapping okay so i'll set it aside and the whole thing came out uh let's uh exceptionally lightweight you cannot even feel that you know there's any weight I'll just uh, set it aside here and I'll see what uh, looks like there's some sort of brochure or small uh, information card so I'll just go over it with you so it says newer pro quality amateur prices uh, that's something uh, I'd like to mention that this is very uh, it's not you know very expensive it's a very uh, uh, cheap it's about uh, $20 Canadian actually this is not this is not information folder or anything it just tells them like you know that uh, if you're not 100% satisfied then call or con email their customer service it doesn't mention anything how to use the product so I'll just uh, set this aside here okay so here we have our selfie stick or monopod and let's try bending it okay so as you can see it bends very easily but not too easy though uh, it's just like you know you have to put a little bit pressure but it's not like you know like uh, a string or anything it's a very looks like you know durable and so let's let me just make this straight first and here you see the quarter inch uh, screw so which should fit in uh, this screw head should fit in to my camera so which I'll try right now 
okay so you can see that uh, my camera has quarter inch input so I'll just put it in here so as you can see you can use it as a selfie stick as well and let me just see if I can bend this keeping my camera on just like you know practice uh, to distribute the weight the way I did it it's not you know keeping the camera straight so probably it has to go to the reverse way so let me try again yeah, I guess you're gonna have to like you know just uh, get used to the weight distribution because the way I'm doing right now is not holding its position actually it is holding but it's not that like you know stable so I, I was able to put it this way uh, now keep in mind that this camera is not really lightweight so if you have uh, like you know lighter camera if you have just like an point, point and shoot camera or uh, action camera then definitely is gonna stay much uh, better than this the Sony 5100 is light but not too light so it just uh, you have to just get used to it uh, knowing how to do the perfect balancing to keep it uh, straight if you are sticking to a tree or a pole or something then definitely uh, it should work so what I'll do I'll just uh, you know try to attach this to a pole and I'll uh, we'll see if it can hold it with a pole I have a another selfie stick here uh, which is a sand mark uh, and then let me see if I can touch this to here so this is just an example of if you want to uh, attach it to a pole outside or any other material which is like this so let's see if this works okay so I'll just take this one okay looks like it has a good grip with this pole so for example uh, you can imagine that this is a bicycle or like in a pole or a fence and you can you know stick it that way so this works well too but uh, my understanding is that you know you're gonna get much better grip uh, or uh, balancing if you have a lighter camera like a uh, point and shoot camera or action camera but still this works with the pole so definitely it'll work with the bicycle as well so if you have if you'd like to attach it to action cam to an action camera then you need another piece of attachment so that should come with your action camera so you have to just uh, you know uh, you need a, like you know uh, another attachment and then the action camera should fit on that attachment so which is going to be something like uh, like this kind of like this so what do you do you need a piece like this and then you can just attach it to this and then here you can easily insert your action camera right this way so like here you can attach it to some other devices which do not have a quarter inch input uh, but for most of the cameras uh, the, the quarter inch input should work and then uh, you can even attach a cell phone but you just need a separate attachment uh, which can hold a cell phone for that as well so one thing I'd like to mention that this is not going to be a too long as a selfie stick. Uh, so it's like you know very short selfie stick. But if you want to like you know uh, uh, balance your camera on a flat surface, surface or on a bicycle, then definitely this can come in handy. So it looks like the quality is not uh, you know not uh, bad. Uh, hopefully it will be able to withstand a few years of uses. But except that, uh, you know, I'm happy with the purchase. So that's all for today. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. On this channel, I do travel videos, uh, travel accessories, uh, videos, camera, points, miles, and other sorts of videos. So there will be more videos coming up, and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.